Yeah, 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 you can. I know most of you are asleep by now. Um, it's understandable, uh, but we can't help it. The daytime is usually packed, so packed that plans for my YouTube channel sometimes I just have to do it spontaneously. Um, sometimes I wish I could just do the recording and spend some time to edit before I put it out there, but uh, the life of a computer science man. Uh, that's what we sign up for. We can't complain. Um, it's obvious from my background. I'm still in my office. And um, time check is 11 minutes past 11 p.m. GMT. Um, I was considering a Telegram channel, but then it, I thought, I don't expect the full class to be available now. Um, but if I leave it here, it will be an opportunity for somebody to... Um, watch later so why not as i always carry my equipment and gadgets with me i may as well just put it out there that's 14 of you let me know if you are in level 200 Kennedy university of ghana computer science class or it class or maybe you are combined major major minor or something and you are considering taking software engineering i think that is an option for such people let me know in the chat section um let this be engaging. I can't be talking to myself, so um, I'll be looking at the chat section. Give me some juice, guys. Who are those here? Um, 17 people are here. Good evening. The boy Berry. Are you level 200 or you just passed through? Um, let's give ourselves up to okay or oh, level 200 okay if you're in level 100 this will be a well i mean good information for you um all things being equal if by the time you get to level 200 if i'm still around then this information will still be relevant to you so why not keeping it here and then uh, living it here forever i mean unless something changes this may be useful to someone. So, okay, all of you are level 200, level 200. The IT students are many. The CS guys are sleeping. They are sleeping so much. I don't know why. I know the class size is over 200, but I'm not expecting up to 100 of you here. <laughs> Do I sleep at all? Um, you want to keep me company? Let's see who lasts longer. Uh, I can do from eight. I've been up 
since 7.30 p.m. after about two and a half hours now. Uh, and I hope I don't run out of juice before 5 a.m. because I have lots of things to do. You guys are coming back next week. Um, there are lots of things I need to get out of the way in order to be able to deliver 100% as I usually want to. I signed up for this, so I've got to get them done. Nevertheless, I have got my hands on other things too. So, I mean, we have to get our hands on other things just so we get the opportunity to practice what we teach you so that we can teach you well. This semester, I have a class with the level 300 uh, computational methods uh, in social media mining or something. It's quite interesting. It's going to be quite an interesting journey. It's been a while I've ventured into that space, you know, uh, mining data, data science, and social media, and identifying patterns, you know, to make informed decisions, predict, uh, forecasts, you know, all of that intelligence stuff. Because um, I've recently been doing a lot of things with persuasive technologies. I know it sounds quite new to some of you. What the hell is persuasive technologies? But before I transitioned into that, I was into more of AI. That's why I'm passionate about it and trying to make sure the club um, comes to life and then start impacting every corner of the university and for that matter, the country. So yeah, I look forward to having a wonderful session with the, that class. It's going to be the first time I'm strategizing best approaches to make the needed impact. It's an elective, so I don't expect more of them. But that's level 300. Right. Okay, so there are just a handful of you here. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> if you're taking a nap, make sure it's a good nap. I don't sleep in my desk. I don't sleep in this chair or in my office. No. If I'm going to sleep for one hour, then it's going to be worth it. So I have to lie on the bed with a, with a mattress, with a pillow. Even if it is two minutes, it has to be worth it. So that... Uh, my body doesn't crash. So you have to just be the need for There are a lot of things to do, a lot of things to learn. Learning ends the moment we enter the grave. I mean, it's pretty much like that. Yes. Okay, so um, let me not bore you. This is supposed to be just a quick one, not even more than 15 minutes. I guess we won't get much of you turning up. But those of you who are, who are watching this later on, um, you may you may ask your questions from the comment section. Um, those who are live have the privilege to ask their questions in the live chats and get responses in real time. So if you after watching this, you still haven't gotten your answers, then you may as well want to put it out there in the comment section of this um, this video, and uh, you get your answers. I'll do my best to find time and answer them for you. Um, Okay, so um, lectures officially begins on 27th June, which is Monday. Um, this is the first time in an academic year you have about three sessions of three different sessions beginning in the same year. So because of the COVID and then the strike, 2021-2022 academic year began in uh, February. February 2022, quite late. Um, you vacated barely two weeks ago, and here we are again. You are returning already under three weeks. This should have typically been your um, long vacation. Some people have had to defer this semester because um, they have to undertake internships. I'm talking about students that have been in my class, who were in my software engineering class and currently in over 300. So, um, Internship is mandatory for all of you at the end of this semester in particular, if you are in level 200 CS or IT or you're taking any of our courses, it's, um, it's, it's compulsory. And I'm happy to know that I have students who have even landed three internships. Last Saturday, one guy flew out of the country for the UK to join Bank of America. Um, his visa to allow him intern with Facebook is still pending, but then he has an internship offer also from Google in Germany. 
So he has deferred the entire semester. Uh, so he's going to do the three months with Goldman Sachs. And is it Goldman? That's a Goldman Sachs. No. Um, is it Bank of America? No, it was Goldman Sachs. Sorry, it's Goldman Sachs. But how come that's the week? I have to check my information well. Um, and so he's going to do that three months. And then whichever one comes first, whether Facebook or Google, when he gets the visa, then he'll continue with that so that his entire second semester is covered with internships. Um, next year when he returns, I mean, next academic year, he'll miss the first semester of level 400 and then complete the level 200 second semester, level 300 second semester before and he joins his junior colleagues in level 400 to do the full year ends. But then it's a good decision if you ask us. It's not about, it's not race at the, at the graduate level. Trust me, your internships may secure your job opportunities with these funds. So you, you just need to seize them when you get the opportunity. He was quite a good student in my class. And I know several others who are also pushing to learn similar opportunities. So um, as best as we, I try to make the course practical, um, I, need every, I need the students to put themselves into groups. Now, this course... It's a core cause for students admitted into single major computer science and then BSc IT. You have no option to skip this course. Um, it's optional for those who are doing major minor and combined major, and they can select it. So I guess it may have it may be a full house. Now because this is highly practical and hands on. You work, you work in teams. Um, I don't put you in the teams. You have the privilege to form your teams and then um, you are going to form teams of seven. Um, there is an outline of tasks. Each team is going to complete every single week of the semester. It's already outlined. I'm just organizing them and uh, I'll release them effectively next week. Timetable should be ready by close of this week most likely um so you're working in teams of six uh, seven sorry and uh so all the students think i don't um what word do i want to use here someone help with the vocabulary i i i i do not stigmatize i, I there's no i don't have any prejudice against any particular group of students so I consider it as my software engineering class, students of my software engineering class. And so um, whether you belong to IT, you are single major, CS, or combined major, you are, as long as you're enrolled in DCIT 208, um, if somebody feels like he can work with you or you want to set up a group of seven, be my guest. Um, now, this information is important because um, we have some experiences from the past. In fact, this is the third time this program is being taken and um, I have varied it along the line and I've tried to improve on it from time to time. Um, but let me not jump the gun. Let me just mention the main reason why we are here. There will be a proper overview of the course um, in a different video session. So let me just wrap this up as quickly as I possibly can. So you form a group of seven, make sure everybody is going to contribute in one form or the other. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be assessed as a group. But what will make the difference is your individual assessments, which is also a requirement. In the past, I've had a group of seven and somebody making an A, and yet in that same group, somebody making a D. I have my methods. If you have, if you have been in my class, you would understand that I have my methods. So the fact that you're going to work in teams or as a group, does not mean you're going to hide behind others. Everybody must contribute to one form or the other. You're going to um, get hands-on experience in working in a software engineering team where everybody has a role they have to play and somebody has to lead the team um, in everything. So we're going to journey all the way from the requirement um, gathering phase to deployment phase. And um, you're not going to conceive any ideas of yourself in terms of a uh, problem to solve, every single group is supposed to find them for themselves a client. 
If you need an introductory letter, we have a draft already I put together last year for the previous class. Come and grab one as a team and then present it to a prospective client. There are terms and references you have to put together to commit yourself and not to commit yourself. Some teams earn some monies from their clients, from the solutions they developed. I can show you some of them maybe later on. I will highlight on some of that. Um, how you transact. And so you're going to develop a solution for a client within 10 weeks. And you must make it work. 10 weeks. You've learned enough. Um, you were introduced to computer science. You were introduced to fundamentals of programming. Your first semester in second year, you did programming one. You've done a whole lot of web um, development, something, something, you know, all those courses. This is the time we put all of that together. So embrace um, yourself and let's have a smooth ride. Now, next week, by the time your registration is successful and completed, before you get to Sakai, you will notice that um, the portal is open for each team to join a particular group. So I'll have a team, team names, I mean, group names. I'll give you a different code and the differences between one group from the other will be numbers, one, two, three, four, up to, I mean, whatever the class size will be. Um, now, this is what happens. In the past, people already conceived that they work together, two, five, seven friends. The maximum will be seven. And some go ahead to register their courses. Others, for one reason or the other, delay in their registration. Most students don't even come to school early. Well, be my guest. Aside from the projects you'll be embarking on, the lectures you'll be taking assignments and quizzes and tests across every week of the semester. So if you're not coming to school early, it's on you. If you're out of the country, better hurry up and, you know, put your acts together, get your acts together. So um, these members of the group, the few who have registered, proceed to Sakai and then our learning management system and then, then proceed to just join a group um, in anticipation that their other counterparts will soon join them. But the groups are open. It's joinable by everyone. And some of these friends delay as much as four or five days. Yeah, as a matter of fact, if you, if you have not joined any group by next week, Friday, which will be by 1st July, if you have not joined any group by 1st July, um, 12, 11.59 p.m., you will not get any group to work with. In fact, for all the group projects that is going to happen across the semester, consider your score to be zero. Um, and I need to let you know that that actually attracts the biggest score. I mean, if you, if you skip one phase of the project phase, you are, you are better as well did not even start it. You are better off if you did not even start it because it's not possible. Okay, so if you have a friend who is considering avoiding the first week of our lecture session, he better advise himself. If you miss the first week group project, you are out. Because group assignment is only going to be exclusively assigned to groups. And if you don't belong to a group, you even get a mail. You won't see it on Sakai, let alone even complete it, and you'll be scored zero. I'll make sure that happens. Unless the individual tasks. It's software engineering, and we need to work in teams. That's just what happened in real practice. And so um, you may not get zero, you may not get a field grade, but you cannot compete for a better grade if you are going to miss out. So don't be a passive student in my class, be an active one, of course, and contribute meaningfully to your group because I'll be monitoring all group activities virtually in one form or the other. You can find out from the current students in level 300 and they'll update you on that. So they've selected a few of the students who went to join the group could not wait for their other counterparts who, for one reason or the other, delayed in joining a group. Um, somebody was so struggling to get friends to partner him to um, to form a, a group, and he was not ready to, you know, work in isolation. And let me tell you, when I create a joinable groups, so anyone who goes to Sakai will see available joinable groups. He will know that there are four people in this group, and they're still not full, or five people in this group, and still not full. If it is full with seven people, nobody can join. So if nobody will act, adapt me, then I'll just adapt myself. So people joined groups. They didn't know anybody. And they now started trying to find the rest of the members of the team. Because, of course, when you join a group, you'll get to know everybody in the group. But until you join, you don't know the people there. So if you are working as a team and you have to wait for a friend before the seven of you will join an empty group, 
um that would be my advice for you but then again don't risk missing the deadline if that person for one reason or the other is failing to be available so that within the space of just 60 seconds all of you will log on to sakai in your on your respective handsets or your pcs and join the group then i, I don't want anybody to come to me and tell me that say somebody we didn't want to join our group has just suddenly join us please can you do something about it for us can you take him out and then this friend of ours we had a, an agreement no i don't want those stories this year that's why i'm taking my time to hammer on this and that is the main reason why i organized this session my time is almost up it's almost 11 30 barely 60, 30 seconds away from now so this is the message i'm sending across form your groups of seven find the people you can work with form team up in groups of seven and be ready to join a group i mean you don't have to be group one or group two group three it has no impact on presentations or deliverables i call any group anytime so get ready for that event which will open next week officially teaching begins on 27th june monday 2022 so um i hope i've answered more of your questions that's all i have to say if you have any question um let me know in the chat section and i'll be happy to respond there's going to be an exciting ride i mean if you are going to be active please bring your a game on board if you were joking in your programming class and you still could not make up for the three weeks you spent at home not improving on your skill set deploying applications using any of the ides vs code which is the most commonest any particular language your program oop is still poor and you have done nothing to show for it well this is going to be quite a tough ride for you um so please brace yourself <laughs> It's going to be bumpy but those who have picked up some few skills and developed applications one form or the other for one person you know uh, maybe it's a, it's a good place to start from any question any question for me nobody has any question wow this is the first time nobody has a question um i guess i've answered your question um the boy berry but the boy Bree, whatever name how you call it how you call it um I don't think I have any question that requires me to, you know, show on the screen. No question. No question. No question. Please say, I would like to know when join the groups will be open. It will open on Monday, 12 a.m. So, 00 on 27th June, 2022. I'll make sure that happens. Zero zero hours GMT. It will open and uh, you just have to join. So if your group member is not ready, don't be in haste. What I'm saying is beyond the Friday, the first week of June, um, 1st July, make sure you have joined the group. Yes, I mean, um, if you you... I'll also create a form if you have a proof of registration. Registration should have been open, like I indicated. The head of the department is going to pursue this problem for you tomorrow. Um, if you're watching this in the future, this phrase has nothing to do with you. Um, and so you should be able to register before then. Um, I'll gladly take a proof of your registration. And I can enroll you nonetheless. I can't do I won't even wait for and uh, UGCS to enroll you as long as you can upload the proof of your registration on the portal that I will create I will make sure every single day of next week I'll be checking in until the July whatever and add you to the Sakai course site if you are already there so that you can join a group so if you're a team of seven you trust that this is the team the killer team Charlie we can't do anything about this we have to be a one team then all of you have to make sure you have all registered, you are all ready to sign up to Sakai and join that team before anybody else comes to fill a space as someone else's spot. If they fill your spots, please don't come and beg me, don't come and give me excuses. I know I spent time to say this the last time, and yet people still came for it, pleading and asking. But I don't think I'm going to countenance on this this time around. No, no. Um, this is actually. DCH 104 is a required course for those of you in level 100 program and um, fundamentals of programming. 
So brace yourself. I think Mr. Solo will be handling you this semester. Um, it's going to be a, a very good experience. You need that experience to survive in the coming years. And of course, hopefully when you join the software engineering class, that is if you make it to CS or any of our related programs. Um, any more questions for me? That is about four minutes after my agreed time. Said so the project, can it include websites also or just application based? Well, your project will be determined by your clients. As a matter of fact, your client is going to have a say in your grade. So you're going to, I'm going to teach you what entails in requirements, gathering, etc. And you're going to practicalize this with your client. And so your client is going to, some, some clients have documents to send to you purely on pro bono basis, but if they are willing to pay, why not? Um, so you're going to engage with your client. Your client would, some may speak English, some may speak even the local dialect about their requirement, what they want for an application. You and your team will have to come back, internalize it, and then find the best approach of delivering on this, returning back to the client and making sure you guys are on the same page before you, 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 you sign off on the software specification. Um, so um, is it going to be web-based or whatever question you're asking? That will depend on your client. So um, make it work. Your client, you and your client will have to sign an agreement. The team and the client has to sign an agreement, officially signed agreement with emails and contacts that you send back to me because we'll verify your client's genuineness um, in engaging with you. So it's no joke. <laughs> It's no joke. Um, I hope I've answered um, Hamon's question. If I've answered your question, let me know in the chat section. Um, any more questions? You can use any programming language, but there are certain programming languages that are more suited to deliver on your client's request. So that is more likely going to influence what approach you're going to use. If a client says he wants um, a mobile application exclusively, what are you going to do? Maybe you're going to go with some Flutter, Kotlin, or pure Android you know, Java program. Maybe your, your proficiency is just web applications. You have to transition. So your, some clients, if you want all three ends of the application and you have to design a back end, create an API, there are a lot of things you're going to learn on this. I have, unfortunately, it's not a programming class. This is a software engineering class. So we're going to learn the technicalities in engineering a proper solution from the requirement phase to the deployment phase. It's, you, you can never sit together as a team and say, say we realize there's a problem like this and want to come up with a solution. No, your, your clients, you have to engage with a real client. Some clients can really get under your skin. In fact, we had, inst we had instances where because of the, uh, the relationship between the team and the client, some clients even abandoned their team just a few hours before final presentation. And it will go against you. So um, client expectations and relationship all count in, as part of this course. Some will get on your nerves. But if you do the right thing at the beginning, and don't use face, um, what do you call it, human relationship. But we're going to emphasize on proper documentation and agreements, you know, signing on and all those things then you save yourself any questions or problems that will come or results out of some of these issues. But brace yourself. But largely, it, it works out. Um, say, please, what kind of clients are you looking for? Let's say a big firm or maybe a startup. It could be any. It could be any. It has to just to be a good client. A big firm, you may have to break your solution into phases. So you don't get scared when your client gives you a requirement. No, maybe they tell you a requirement, you come back and realize that it's really huge, probably difficult to deliver within the 10 weeks. You have to internalize your client's requirements. The fact that you've sat down to take in requirement does not necessarily mean that you have agreed to get a work done. You take, internalize the information, you and your team, and you break it down. Sometimes you may want to divide it into phases. So you go back to your client and let him appreciate the load of work, how you technically appreciate the scope of the work and the phases within which you, you think you can deliver on this and you must all be in a, in the, on the same page. So if phase one is going to be ready before the 10th week, 
I will be clearly be assessed on that and you get your full marks as a result. But that means that you may be going to continue with your clients to deliver the rest of the other phases. All will have to be contained in the agreement. And so there's no limit to the size of your client, whether it's a startup or it's an enterprise solution. As long as you can win a client over to hand over his um, solution to you to deliver, be my guest. Right. I hope I've answered your question, Killer. Yes. Um, any more questions? Interesting. The system of people have just watched this, even though they have 24 concurrent views. So please, talking about the weekly group project, what will be the duration of the group works given all these requirements? <laughs> well, what, what, is, what will be the duration? You have a week to accomplish one event. So you have to find suitable times agreed by the time. That is why you have to be careful who you team up with. You really have to be careful who you team up with. So it was quite an eye opener. Students who, knew, who thought they could work with some colleagues of BS uh, eventually realized that some were just taking advantage of their friendship and were wasting their time and they nearly cost them their first class. So when they got to level 300, a mini project became a required course uh, for them to register. <laughs> you were shocked that best of friends, some people did not want to work with certain teams Certain people they work with before in the software engineering class because of the way they put themselves out there. So it turned out that some people who were so unserious, so passive, were struggling to get anybody to partner because they won't pull their weight. And nobody wants to be dragged behind. So um, you have a week. You have an average a week to get something done. So as and how you schedule your routine, meet at certain times all of this has to be agreed on within the first week and i'll take information of all of that who knows maybe one of the occasions i could even jump into your meeting or request to join your virtual sessions and that has to be agreed on we, the first week the first assignment is to set down lay down rules for your team acceptable and agreeable by all parties and it all be signed on that's a cup of coffee my guest Yes, so, yeah, you know the person who wants to partner you. This is very, very important. You may not know the person entirely, but you've got to be serious because you are not going to only do my course. You have other courses you would have to give equal attention to. So you really need to organize yourselves well and be productive. It is as a result of the software engineering class, students from my class have secured jobs and internship opportunities. And so if you did not just come to get a grade or pass through the academic um, um, institution, but want to really be impacted, then you are going to commit. I mean, it's just a matter of 10 weeks. There's nothing that you cannot sacrifice. I always tell you, forget about those girlfriend, boyfriend stories. This is my viewpoint. Please don't point any gun to my head. This is my opinion. We need to do what we've got to do when we've got to do them. So. You have to sacrifice those things because and break away from them because there's a lot of things you need to do. All the other courses you'll be taking are not going to be lightweight. So it's going to be difficult to commit and remember that girl's birthday and the guy's birthday to buy him some boxer shorts or probably spend some time hanging out. It's pretty much going to be you and your computer. And I mean, God for us all, maybe we go to worship and pray a few occasions and go to the mosque. You know, those may be valuable times you will need. But the rest is just go to sleep, wake up, and do the needful. Meet your colleagues, do what is required. There's plenty of uh, life outside the school. The girls will never finish, and the guys will also not finish. Right. Um, I hope I didn't step on any toes. It's interesting, 63 views, but I have about 24 concurrent viewers. Um, the people come and they, they go. Some people have stayed here for just 10 minutes. I know we have viewers and followers, subscribers who are not necessarily in my class, but that is fine. Um, this is on cut. This is the real deal. You have broken up. Uh, yeah, it will, it, will, it, will, it, will, it, will, it will be a good decision. It will really help you to focus. I mean, if you ask, the guy is called somewhere. I'm just... Um, giving you a word, one of his first names. Yes, he, 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 you can't just envy him. You can't envy him. Trust me, you can't envy him. You can't fault him for landing 
internships at three different places. He came with some sacrifices and commitment. He has no time for this relationship kind of things. <laughs> so if you really want to hit the big bucks, be my guest. I'm one of my former students walked to me. We had a conversation last week. Yes, he visited me in the office. One of the evenings just like this. And we were talking to Charlie Mark. You know, because of these events at home, my mom wants me to do this. You won't believe that I have I've just sink I've sunk into a project two hundred thousand Ghana cities. You know, if she had told me she was going to do this, I wouldn't have even bought the car. The car I know he paid two hundred and seventy thousand cities for this car. This is a twenty five twenty six that one boy. You know, so now he's going to get back to his desk. He's earning. He has three offers: one in Poland, one in Spain, and one in UK. He's turned them down. Because they want him to relocate. But, you know, considering the, the nature of the economy now, if he relocates to UK, Spain, or even the, the UK, I mean, German, is this Poland, Spain, and then the UK, whichever one, um, expenditure on utilities, accommodation, it won't cost him less than 500 pounds or euros, you know, a month. Um, what will he be left with? So he is much better off if he's earning five thousand, six thousand dollars in Ghana and the money, you know, being remitted to him monthly, because then he can sink a lot of the money into other projects, um, utilities, rent, etc. Will cost him less than probably even two hundred dollars equivalent, and that makes economic sense. And so he's still weighing the options. He's just applied to go and get a visa, and um, if a better offer comes, around eight thousand. 10k why not he may take it and move out of the country but all of these people are making references to how to sacrifice something i'm really passionate about this information when i pass them on to you because i have missed a very fine opportunity and i don't blame myself um because i was not in the space that i could get this information uh, but now that i do know i've got my hands involved in a lot of things i've got my eyes set on other things but that doesn't mean you should miss out on some of these opportunities so I'll pass them on as frequent as possibly can. Those who pay heed to them, I know definitely they will come through and uh, we'll get to hear of them. And I'll continue to share their stories. There are lots we'll be doing in the semester in software engineering, trying to get some guest lectures. I've got Microsoft's um, attention and a few others trying to revive my conversation with the Google guy. You'll get in touch with real engineers as far as this session is, is going to this session is going to really be engaging. So um, it's going to be quite positive. I can assure you no other institution in this country in software engineering class is getting this opportunity. I can guarantee you that. Um, so it's your decision to take it for granted and invest that time into something else. But if you are ready to come aboard, be my guest. It's not for the faint-hearted. It's not for the faint-hearted. But I can assure you. Yeah, I know, right? Combining CS with the boy girlfriend relationship is a real combined major. Tell them, tell them. Um, you take the woman, hold your body. Um, you pay the price for that. So, please, some of us, it's not girls who, so it's anime. Okay. Well, be my guest as well. I guess I had too much time on my hands when I was an undergrad. That's why I devoted so much time into Naruto and then, uh, uh, this this legend of whatever is it? There was these characters called Kura and other people. I've forgotten. Um, they would do Airbender and whatever. You know, I didn't miss any of these, um, but I'm pretty sure because I had a lot of time on my hands, and I'm saying so because even though I have a a paid FIFA 22, I don't remember the last time I even touched it in more than three four months. Trust me. There is more to life than to be spending all the time playing games. If I can shelve that, if I can settle to watch uh, my favorite team's highlights instead of making time to watch the match, then you should understand that um, there is higher calling. This field we've chosen demands a lot. Even if you take certain things for granted, especially in your formative stages, you're going to be really sacrificing your best life for now. And I'm not sure you're ready to pay the price for that. This life, we don't get to live twice, you know. The seat you need to buy to sit at home and do this remote job could cost you like 2,400 Ghana cities, 3,000 Ghana cities. You should be able to afford all of these things out of the money you'll be earning, you know, without 
uh, flinch. So you may want to invest in what you need to do now and shelf the other things for other time. My, this, this is just my personal opinion from experience. So don't sacrifice your future for any. Okay, you have done. Uh, we have, as I will put it, as we're using the Ghanaian balance, you've done. Uh, it's 11.50 on my clock. I guess there's nothing more to say. No more questions to answer. Um, I look forward to engaging with most of you soon. Um, and of course, if you have not subscribed yet, please do tell your friends about this channel. That's the least you can do for me. It costs you nothing. Absolutely nothing. To just go there and go and click subscribe. If you like, don't even turn on the notification bell. But I would advise you do so. Um, so that when the time, whenever I come online, you don't need a head start. You just get the notification. Boom. And then you can just flow. Right, guys. Um, thank you very much for your time. And um, sound sleep to those of you who are already in your bed. Because I know you are watching from your phone and you are lying in your bed. And not seated like I, like I am right now. Um, somebody probably even woke you up with a phone call that said was going to meet you. And that's how come you are here. Whichever category you find yourself. Maybe you're watching this later on, years after it has been uploaded. Be my guest. I hope you found something useful. Maybe it might have been the advice and not necessarily the beginning part of this session. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your evening. Enjoy the rest of your sleep. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're watching this from.